So hello and welcome friends to our channel Intromac and here we discuss about basic mechanical engineering concepts. So in case of designing one of the most important part is material selection. So whenever you design something the selection of material plays a very important role. So there are a lot of materials and their properties are also different. So it is very difficult to choose this material or sometimes we know the material but we don't know what are its physical properties so in that case there is a tool which will help us to find out the properties of different materials and that is nothing but the matte web so without wasting time let's get started so first you have to type matte web so here you could see the matweb.com the free material search so just click on it and the window will open here now what you have to do you have to just log in uh, into the account you could see i have already logged in so if you haven't just register yourself and you can log in into the matweb account so we can see here uh, its display so what is matweb so basically matweb is a searchable database of material properties so here you can search different material you can find the data sheets you can download the data sheets and you can utilize those sheets for various applications like if you have to input these uh, material properties to some analysis softwares like ANSYS or uh, say other uh, different software so it helps a lot also if you want to do some calculations at that time also it helps a lot so we have uh, two different options here you could see quantitative searches and we have categorized searches so let's first see uh, what is a quantitative search physical properties now you can see the window has opened here right and the property search and you can uh, see different uh, materials they are categorized you can see the carbon uh, then we have ceramics we have fluids <clears throat> right so uh, we have different categories of materials and in bracket you could see the number of different types of materials that this database has so you can see the numbers so you can almost find out the properties of any material now here you could see ferrous materials then again we have say non-ferrous materials you can just click on the plus menu you can find out the different materials like aluminium alloy beryllium alloy bismuth alloy copper alloy right so let's take some uh, example so let's see uh, for some aluminium alloy so just click on it you could see aluminium alloy we have like 1737 materials and just click on the find so what will happen here you can see now n number of different material combinations of aluminium alloy are here so uh, you just have to know that which material you are looking for there are a lot of uh, different types according to say heat treatment or material properties okay so let's take an example so just click on it and here you could see now all the properties of the material you can see the physical properties and also the properties are available in both uh, say metric units and uh, imperial units like english unit right then we have mechanical properties over here and also the comment section is there so if there is some specific comment uh, it has been mentioned over there if you see the hardness uh, test so they have mentioned uh, the comment uh, if you could see that 500 kg load with 10 mm ball they have used for the testing so this can also uh, be useful then we have some electrical properties thermal properties then uh, what is the composition of this alloy that uh, what are the different elements in this alloy that is also shown over here so it is very useful you can find out you can pick up whatever uh, you know whatever property you want if you are doing some thermal analysis you might require some thermal properties uh, and you can see the references it gives that from which references these properties are uh, like taken so you can check out uh, for the references and uh, right so you can also do that then 
we have an option to download this you can download it as a pdf or you can download it as a excel also so let's uh, check out for say pdf so or you can import the property to, uh, to some cad or fea software also so let's download the property of aluminum 1050 and you could see it is getting downloaded and <clears throat> once it will get downloaded you uh, we can observe the complete sheet over here so here is the complete sheet with all the properties which we have already seen so we can keep this as a reference uh, so that whenever we want we can take this out and we can have any property we want right so this is how we can download uh, the data sheet of different materials right so what other option we have you could see here like choose up to three material properties so like if you are concerned about some specific properties so that this option is also available if you go under uh, select menu so you can see there are uh, around almost 50 or 60 different material properties are mentioned over here and they combine all the properties like mechanical electrical uh, say thermal you could see density then dielectric constant is uh, given over there so all these different properties are mentioned over here and you can pick uh, one property you want you can give some range uh, to that property now i have chosen hardness over here so it shows the minimum and maximum value up to which you can put so you can give a filter like minimum and maximum right then we can you can select a second property uh, over here uh, say now we can take some other uh, property so let's take uh, some strength so tensile strength uh, right we are uh, taking tensile strength so it will again show the minimum and maximum possible ranges over here so you can pick uh, and place your value over there and then uh, let's take some another uh, property so what we have let's see uh, we are taking specific it, it's a thermal property right so with this filter you just have to add your minimum and maximum values and just hit on the find so if the material is available with all these combinations it will show up directly so this is another advantage of uh, uh, the site and it, it holds a lot of data and it is freely available so you don't have to search here and uh, there for uh, the material properties because material properties plays a very important role if you put some uh, wrong property it might end up into some different results so that is why it is very important and then we have some uh, other options like uh, alloy composition so here you can get uh, some alloy compositions also by going uh, through these different metals uh, and alloys you could see here so <clears throat> you can get some uh, metal and alloy composition over here right so this is how uh, you can see here now uh, we can select a low alloy steel i have selected right so here you can get all the properties again and also the their values and their composition so here composition is very important so this is how you can uh, search the different materials and you can get uh, the values the properties of different materials and it's a very useful site and every engineer must know this site so i hope you uh, understood all the things and it is very easy to navigate also through this site and uh, you can use it uh, for your own uh, purpose also because it is freely available so i think uh, that's it for the today's session and if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section or uh, and we can discuss over there until then stay home stay happy thank you